Here we will draw an axial composite of the brainstem in order to establish its overall organization. By focusing on the similarities in each brainstem level before delving into their differences, we reduce the overall amount of gross memorization we need to do to learn the brainstem. First draw an ovoid outline of an axial brainstem composite. Label the bottom of the diagram as anterior and the top as posterior. Divide the brainstem from anterior to posterior into its basis, tegmentum, and tectum. Label the left side of the page as nuclei and the right side of the page as tracts. Within the basis, show the ventral line corticofugal tracts, which comprise the efferent fiber tracts from the cerebral cortex. They include, from medial to lateral, the frontopontine, corticobulbar, corticospinal, and parietopontine tracts. Moving posteriorly, label the supplementary motor nuclei, which comprise the substantia nigra and red nucleus in the midbrain, the pontine nuclei in the pons, and the olivary nuclei in the medulla. Next, in the anterior tegmentum, label the posterior column medial lemniscus pathway. It is the major large fiber sensory pathway. Then, lateral to it, label the anterolateral pathway, which comprises the spinal thalamic, spinal reticular, spinal mesencephalic, and spinal tectal tracts. And then, internal to the posterior column medial lemniscus and anterolateral system pathways, label the trigeminal thalamic tracts, which carry sensory coverage from the face. Now, in the posterior tegmentum, label the cranial nuclei. The cell bodies for cranial nerves 3 through 10 and cranial nerve 12 lie within the brainstem. Next, label the neurobehavioral cells, which comprise the cells of the periaqueductal gray in the midbrain, the raphe nuclei along the midline of the brainstem, the locus ceruleus, the ventral tegmental nuclei, and the pedunculopontine and lateral dorsal tegmental nuclei. Then label the reticular formation, which constitutes a meshwork of histologically indistinct nuclei that have surprisingly specialized functions. Next, label the supplementary motor and sensory tracts, which comprise the medial longitudinal fasciculus and central tegmental tract, and the tectobulbo, rubro, reticulo, and vestibulospinal tracts. Now label the auditory system. The brainstem components of the auditory system are the superior olivary nucleus, trapezoid body, lateral lemniscus, and inferior colliculus. Next, label the cerebrospinal fluid space. And lastly, label the cerebellar peduncles. This concludes our drawing of the composite organization of the brainstem.